Whoa, what's up? I just finished wrapping my daily driver and I just wanted to give it a little walk around and let y'all know basically what it takes to wrap this car. If you're going to wrap your own car, not making a video of how to wrap. I got a couple other videos online of me wrapping the cars, but basically just going over the vinyl that I used, how much I used and things like that. So I get all my vinyl wrap on Amazon. They come in five foot long rolls by however long you need. And since I've been wrapping my cars, I've only had convertibles. This one, that one, and one other one. Don't have the other one anymore. But it comes in five foot long by however many feet, how many ever feet you order. So for me to wrap my convertible, the base color here, this light blue, see I got two different blues here, this light blue, I bought 50 feet of it to wrap my car and I still have a good bit left right here that's a lot but I also had some left over from when I did this car because that blue one here is the same blue so I had some wrap left over so 50 feet to wrap my whole car in blue except for back here right here back all the whole bumper and down all that is done in that dark blue I bought 25 feet of that and this is all I have left just some scraps all this is scraps of the light blue that is all I have left 25 feet did the lower part of my front bumper the design on the hood and then these streaks down the side, there, there, and once again, the whole back of the car, the whole rear bumper, and right here down. 25 feet of the dark blue, 50 feet of the light blue. These vinyl wraps are vivid. Kind of hard to see. Vivid Premium. This one, it's got the same exact writing on it, but a different color back. This one is labeled as XPO. This one is not. This one's labeled as High Gloss. And these are two of the best Vivids that I've used to wrap my car with so far. This one goes on really good. This one takes curves and all, it lays down nice, but if you get any air bubbles trapped underneath it, you're going to fight to get the air bubbles out. It doesn't release the air as easy as this one does. I also have back here others that I've worked with before. Um, actually, these are all Vivid here. This is Avery Dennison. That is the light blue that's on that car. Avery Dennison's real good. This thing here, I'll wrap my wife's old 4 Series. This is some easy auto wrap, some no-name wrap that she bought. She liked the color. And it was one of the hardest things to work with. Somewhere around here, there we go. Got little scraps. My wife's car currently has this pink on it. And that is KPMF. And this one is a really good one. I like working with this KPMF. For me to wrap the car, this is some of the tools I use. Got measuring tape to take measurements on where I want to lay things out. I use the little painter's tape to kind of lay down marks. This knifeless cutting tape, you lay that down and you're able to pull it and cut the design so you don't have to put a razor across your car. So, that, a lot of squeegees, a lot of knives, extra blades, uh, needle nose pliers to snap the blade, scissors to cut the wrap. Got these cutters back here to slide and cut the wrap across. Markers to mark things when I'm cutting it, make sure I don't waste too much. I didn't use any gloves this time. My wife used a glove when she did some touch-ups on her car the other day. Water bottle. So anyway, it took me 16 days to wrap the outside of this car. And the reason it took me so long because I work 10 hours a day, so I only get to wrap the car for about 2 or 3 hours each night after work before I have to take a shower, eat dinner, go to bed, and wake up and go to work again. And this car was wrapped before, so some of that time was taking the old wrap off, laying down all these designs, and putting new wrap on. Plus, you'll notice that this car has a bad paint job under its wrap. Let's see if we can get a good angle. You see all that? That is the paint messed up underneath the wrap. It shows through the wrap. There's a few spots where I tried to sand it down and clean it because this car will never not have a wrap on it. The paint is messed up under there pretty badly. So I had to sand down some things. 
also filled in the reflector that's normally right here on the sides of the car. So I started wrapping this car on a Saturday so I could wake up early in the morning just go all day wrapping the car. And I, I kind of took my time a little bit, but all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Then Monday on, I got to go to work. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'd work on it for two hours a night at best. And then Saturday and Sunday came along. I worked on it as much as I felt like Saturday and Sunday. Then again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just an hour a night, two hours, depending on, on what I was doing. And yesterday I did a little bit. And today's Sunday. I could have knocked this out yesterday, but I had other things I wanted to do. So today's Sunday, 16 days from start to finish. And since every day I drive this car going to work, that meant each day just a little bit was wrapped here, a little bit there. You know, I started, I started on the driver's side, wrapped it. That meant that the other side was a different color. Then I did the bumpers last. That meant for a while I was riding around with no bumpers done. Just get in the car a little at a time. You do what you got to do. To give you a better understanding of what it takes to wrap the car, I had to remove the tail lights to get the wrap tucked in there. Remove the antenna to make sure I wrap inside of it nice and neat. All the trim has to come off. I put brand new clips on there, so I got new clips on my trim too. The side skirts have to come off for me to wrap them. The door handle has to come off. The mirrors come off. The trim here comes off. This wrap is tucked into the trim. I actually removed this whole piece off of the car and wrapped this while it wasn't on the car. I didn't take my headlights out and I didn't take my front bumper off this time. Got to remove the grills, got to take the emblems off. Little things, piece in the back where the, the emblem is, you remove that. So there's a lot of taking apart. Got to take the side markers off. A lot of work to wrapping the car and getting it done right. Now, I didn't film myself wrapping a whole lot this time. I have other videos online of me wrapping. If you want to see me squeegeeing the stuff in place, I do have a little bit of that in here, but most of the rest of the video is just a clip kind of a before and after each single day so you can see what I did each day and like how, why it took so long and how much I did. So the rest of the video is just little cuts of today I'm doing this, today is day whatever. Whoa, it is Saturday. It is 8.30 in the morning. I'm about to rewrap my car. Probably ain't going to record a whole lot because I'm going to see how much I can get done today. It's 8.30 in the morning. But this is the car right now. And all the matte black that's on the driver's side, it's all three, three to four years old. All the gloss black that's on the passenger side is all the same, three to four years old. Some of the overlay parts, the gloss black over there and the matte black here, some of that is only about a year old but more than anything the gold the gold fades over time this is look at the color difference this is all metallics plus it rips apart it was cheap gold anyway it was underwater in a flood so the bottom of it was messed up it's delaminating right there I knew it wasn't gonna last long but it's time for it to come off and I'm gonna wrap it in these two blues it kind of looks the same on camera, but this blue is a little lighter than that blue. I'm going to do the same pattern, but in the two blues. Today, I'm mostly just going to lay this down, and I'm going to lay this on top of it to make the pattern. But I'm going to make it solid, so as I'm riding around, at least it'll be one blue, because this is my daily driver. I drive this to work every day. So, I'm going to set the camera up and get started. So this is what the car looks like unwrapped. Pretty bad, huh? Last time I just wrapped right over the bad paint. This time I took a sander and sanded down, smoothed down all the edges of the bad paint. But look at this. The paint looks good right here. It just was all peeling up up here one day after I washed the car. I hit it with a pressure washer and it was peeling the paint back. I guess it had a loose edge or a bubble or something, but everything started ripping off. I bought this car sight unseen and the pictures I saw looked good. So, fair warning, this car had no accidents reported and that's its fender so I'm gonna start wrapping right there it's all cleaned up now and sanded down time to start wrapping try and cut it in a way that you can save as much material as possible because those little bits that you cut off come in handy when you're wrapping little things like the trim whoa that fender's done look at that 
That looks good. Looks so much better. Still got to put that piece of trim on. It's laying on the counter over here. One down. It is now 10 o'clock. So I started at 8.30, but I had to unwrap it and sand down some stuff before I wrapped it. The door should go a lot quicker. Those are easy to wrap. It's 7.20 now. I haven't been recording much then. I also stopped to eat lunch and I'm about to go eat dinner now. It's been raining. But this is where I'm at. That's where the paint was bad and I was sanding down on the car. All on that rear fender was all bad. It took a lot longer to do the prep work than I, had, than I planned. But that's where we at. I'm about to go eat dinner. Just want to throw this out here. This is day two. Day two. And that's as far as I got. Took a lot longer to unwrap the car and get it prepped than I thought. Trunk is wrapped so far, three pieces. This is what it takes. You got to take the lights out and everything. License plate's gone. I still got to wrap this piece of trim right here. And I got to wrap that darker blue color up here but this is one piece the back is another piece and inside of here is a third piece now that took a long time still got to put the third brake light in but look at that it's getting dark outside day three down put in about three hours tonight I did all around here, and that took a long time because I took this completely apart. Took it off the car and wrapped that, and I wrapped around my front windshield. This chrome piece here was wrapped, I took that off, but around my windshield is now done. Three hours tonight, get another three hours in tomorrow night. Whoa, it's Tuesday, day four. It's about 7 p.m., I just finished eating. Today at work, I had a little downtime. I was able to unwrap this side of the car. So that's gonna help out a lot. Still gotta wash the car up a little bit where I'm gonna wrap. I think I'm gonna start with this fender here. That's one of the hardest things left to do on this side of the car. Still got a little wrap left on the bumpers, but I'm gonna do the bumpers last. Front bumper is the hardest thing to do on the car for sure. I think I'm gonna do the fender here. The side, this door is pretty easy other than I gotta take the handle off, but that's not a problem. And the back, it's gonna be all right. But I think I'm going to work on that tonight. Let's see how much I can get done. Maybe I can get that done and a piece of the door. Day four. That's a lot. It's about, oh, it's almost 11 o'clock at night. So I got to get ready for work tomorrow. Day five. It's hot in here. I'm not expecting to get a lot done today. I got other stuff to do. If I can knock out this panel though, that will be great. So that's what I'm working on today. I'm not going to film any of that. But got to wash it up, remove that piece of trim, and wrap that up. Blue and dark blue. Two different colors right here. It's 9.30 on day five. Rear quarter panel is done. If you didn't know about it, this side of the car looks good now. But I'm calling it early night. I still got a lot more work to do. But day five, the car is wrapped all the way around other than the bumpers and the hood. And I still got all the details to put in here and there in my side skirts. Day five, we done. 9.30. Day six, today I'm going to be wrapping the hood. It's hot in here, I'm tired. That's probably all I'm going to do today, but it's a lot to it. So, that's what's happening today. Front grill's removed. Grill under here removed. Washer nozzle's removed. Emblem removed.
Day six done. It's 11 o'clock at night. The hood's not finished, but that's what I got. Day eight. It's another hot day. Yesterday, all I was really able to do was finish off the hood. That looks good. Then I had to do some other work to the car, but I think today I'm going to lay some graphics down the side of the car right here so I can start getting my side skirt back on. Day 8 down, and the driver's side of the car is done. It is day 9. I have a mild hangover. It's hot today. But let's see if I can go to this side of the car and knock out these graphics. Day 9. Didn't get to the side skirt. But these graphics are on. Day 9. Day 10. Just got to knock out that side skirt. Not going to do anything else but that today. Day 11, got to pull the wrap off of the front bumper. I'm going to try and fill in the reflectors. And I might get started on the rear bumper. Day 11. Day 12, it's already pretty late and I'm just now getting started. On day 11, all I really did was unwrap the front and rear bumpers. And I was patching with uh, the reflectors go on the side. I didn't do a good job of that. So today I'm going to finish that up. And I'm going to start working on the rear bumper. I don't know if I'm going to finish because like I said, it's already kind of late. Today's day 12. Day 12. Didn't have a lot of time today. Did this top part of my bumper right here. These trim pieces that go underneath my headlights. And did some patching on there. I'll get more done tomorrow. It's day 13. I got me a new sander so I can finish cleaning that up where I filled in my reflectors. And I'm going to finish my rear bumper today. I got so much other stuff to do, but that's going to be what I knock out today. Well, I guess I'm done for tonight because I got to eat and I got to shower and so on. But the fuse are still on the ground right there. I'm going to take my wheels off because... I got new tires to put on the car tomorrow, so that'll be it for the night. Day 14, it's a Friday, I don't have to work, it's a beautiful day outside. I just finished up the bumper. I still got to do the diffuser here, I really don't have to do anything to it. It's wrapped in this dry carbon, but I'm going to end up making it the light blue color. But I think I'm going to get started on my bumper, but I got a lot of things to do today, so we'll see how much I get done. Day 14, all that's left, my diffuser. Look at that badass car back there. Boy, they look so good together. Day 15, car is almost done. Realistically, just got to do the rear diffuser and the mirrors, and the car will be done. Told myself I wasn't going to drink last night, and then I did. My wife said, hey, let's have a drink. She's very convincing. So... Moving a little slow, but car will be finished today. Mirror cap is on the roof. Day 15 done. I forgot to put that piece right there. I could continue doing it, but I'll just work on it tomorrow. I got a few other things that I want to do around the car, a little touch-ups. But day 15 over with. Tomorrow I'll finish it. Day 16 and I just finished wrapping the car. I could have finished it last night. It would have been quicker if I didn't have to unwrap the car first. And if the paint wasn't bad. But everything on the outside of the car is done. Still going to wrap some stuff in the inside of the car. But the outside is now 
done. And when you're all done, now you got a mess to clean up. So now I got to clean the garage. <laughs>